few words as he left court, but clearly he's changed his mind now getting into his car and leaving. Now, what will happen now is there'll be three months for the lawyers to get together their pre-sentence reports and those pre-sentence reports will look into Lord Hanningfield's health. Now what we've heard as he's been giving evidence is that his, his, Ill, his health has, has suffered. He said he had eye problems, he said he had back problems, he said he um, had a scare with cancer which turned out to be luckily nothing and we also learned that he was suffering depression so all that will be now taken into consideration uh, that'll take about uh, three uh, months or so and then we'll gather back here uh, for sentencing but um, Lord Hanningfield he was allowed to uh, stand away from the dock he was allowed to stand next to his solicitor as each uh, count was read out and as each count was read out guilty came the uh, reply. Now, um, there was no visible reaction from Lord Hanningfield at all, but as, as you probably heard in, in my report just before, he thought he would clear his name. When he was first charged, he said he felt traumatised and he said he'd never really recovered from that. And then giving evidence, he said he felt horrified. So, um, interesting, while he was giving his evidence, he said uh, he thought the expenses were more of an allowance. He said that 80 5% of the peers uh, claimed that and he thought he wasn't doing anything wrong. So sentencing in the next three months or so. Back okay. Mike Cartwright there at Chancellor Crown Court for us. Thanks very much.